Hello dear, welcome to ISTV English News Bulletin. I'm Lancha Migomi, bringing the top developing stories of the state. Here's the news headlines. Governor of Assam, Professor Jagdish Muki, sworn in as new governor of Manipur as Governor Najma Haptula goes on leave. Women's Wink and Students' Wink of JCLPS destroy fruit market shade at Thangal Market. Dental doctors sit idle due to lack of proper equipment. Two dead and three injured in an accident occurred near Lilong oil pump this afternoon. Let's hear the news in details. Governor of Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, has been sworn in as the Governor of Manipur at the Darbar Hall, Raj Bhavan. Acting Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur and Kotishore administered the oath of secrecy. We are in the name of God, Governor of Kovu, President of the Empire of Liti, preserve, protect, defend the Constitution and the law and Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, Y. Joy Kumar, Cabinet Ministers, MLA's Chief Secretary, Director General of Police and top civil and police officials attended the swearing-in ceremony. None of opposition MLA was present during the swearing-in. A contingent of Manipur rifles gave card of honor after the swearing-in. Speaking to media after the ceremony, Governor Jagdish Mukhi said he will work according to the law incorporated in Indian Constitution for the welfare of the people. Whatever the requirements that I will be doing means I shall be ensuring in her absence that the state government runs as per the constitutions, as per the law and besides that whatever period I am here I will try my best to do every possible welfare part of the Volunteers of JCLPS Women's and Students Wing destroyed the fruit market shade located on a footpath near Berodan Hindi Maxwell Primary School today. The government had issued orders to clear the market shade within three days. Police have arrested some women volunteers of JCLPS in the incident, it is reported. <laughs> Convener of JCLPS Students Wing, Manjit Sarangtham, said it is time that the people of Manipur open their eyes and see the reality. President of all Manipur State Government Dental Surgeons Association and Joint Director of Medical Health Directorate Dental, Dr. L. Nandalal has expressed dissatisfaction over the condition in which the dental doctors of the state are working at present. He said the dental doctors are compelled to sit idle due to lack of proper equipment. He said this while attending the first anniversary observance of the association held at the complex of the health directorate. He said the most important equipment dental doctors required is dental chair. The services a dental doctor can render become very limited if there is no proper equipment. The doctors are now shying away from even taking their salaries as they sit idle most of the time. Keeping the dental doctors without giving any honor, such as appointment of the state nodal officer for dental and the 93 administrative post of the Manipur Health Services is tantamount to looking the dental profession down. He said the appointment of the state nodal officer was made from MBBS instead of any dental doctor. He drew the attention of the government to form a separate directorate for dental. Great 
New President, Vice President, Secretary and other office bearers for the 2018-19 term and many dental doctors attended the anniversary observance. In what could be termed as an unfortunate incident, two persons died and three hospitalized at Raj Medicity in an accident at 12.20 near Lilong Oil Pump under the jurisdictions of Lilong Police Station. The diesel auto in which they were traveling was coming from Usoi Popi towards Imphal and crashed with a Tata truck near Lilong Oil Pump. The deceased persons were identified as Muhammad Abdullah, 55, son of Muhammad Satur of Lilong Tingham and Muhammad Ali, 45, son of late Muhammad Nasib Ali of Lilong Upakthong Makhalekai. The injured persons were identified as Mumtaz, 39, wife of late Abdul Wahid of Usoi Pokpi, Muhammad Mazibur Rahman, 15, son of Alauddin near Lilong College, and Talhar, 14, son of Istarwur of Lilong Turel Makong. Lilong police have taken up a case for the accident. Commissioner of Transport Lakshmi Kumar asserted that construction of three pillars of 121 meters tall railway bridge will be completed within two months. Constructions of the remaining three pillars will begin from December. A team of railway officials inspected the ongoing construction work of the railway track tunnel and constructions of pillars yesterday. Deputy Chief Engineer Construction of NF Railway, Gautam Singh, DC of None, Watson and many officials attended the inspection visit. Commissioner M. Lakshmi Kumar further said, the successful completions of the railway bridge, which will be the highest bridge in the world, will be a prestigious achievement not only for Manipur but for India as a whole. State government ki swai da koi tourist ki kari kari nukar same magi so plan mali jo magi scenic beauty adi magi surrounding magi se si uri me amsi ki so koi amma plan mus lei madu so koi tourism department madu so koi na hawaii level la khana bada highest level so du kushi yaw haro ni so this place this whole this thing is very peculiar tallest railway bridge in the world 141 meters from ground level sini the team inspected the remaining portions of the construction of the tunnel. Deputy Chief Engineer Constructions of NF Railway, Gautam Singh, appealed to the government to extend all possible help to complete the constructions of the railway bridge on time. We were facing some problem of transportation. Uh, there was some uh, uh, bridge problem in the nearby Jirban section. There was some damaged bridge on the NS. And due to that, we are facing a transportation problem, but now it is uh, under repair, it will be done. Uh, at present, there is no problem. Influx of Rohingyas from Myanmar to Moray is still continuing. Even though strict vigil has been kept in both Myanmar and Moray areas by Moray police under the supervision of SP Technopol district, Ibomcha, there has been a suspicion of non stop influx of Rohingyas from Myanmar. Yesterday, Assistant Commandant Thomas Tokchom of 8 IRB attached to Moray Commando and Commando OC P. Tarun Kumar under the supervision of SP Moray conducted a search at Hotel Carl Board near Moray Gate No. 2 and arrested four persons including a woman. The arrested persons have been identified as Jobar, 21, son of War Hussein, Muhammad Rapik, 19, son of Muhammad Atsama, Kamal, 19, son of Abu Tahar and Muni Bibi, 19, son of Muhammad of Yakai, Myanmar. Verifications of the Adar cards of the four persons has been going on. The Kemlamban Govin of Lilong Urup Makalekai, who is responsible for transportation, has also been arrested. The arrested persons have been handed over to police station for further legal investigation. OC of Moirang Police, Anil Kumar, nabbed three persons, including two women who were said to have been cheating people using forged pension books. Four fact pension books have also been recovered from their possession. The three persons have been mortgaging the pension books to get easy money. SP of Bishnupur District, Jogesh Chandra produced the arrested persons along with the recovered pension books before the media today. The arrested persons have been identified as Anobam Sanjita Alais Mema, wife of Rajmani of Ningthokong Mayai Lekai, what number nine? Naurem Biramangol, son of Led N. Samu of Nambol Khajiri, and Naurem Ongbi Oinam Ningol, Renubala of Thanga Samukol. SP Jogesh Chandra said they were arrested after receiving complaint that they have swindled a total of 9 lakh and 50,000 using the forged.
pension books. SP Jugesh Chandra further appealed to the people to be careful from such thugs. President of Sif Sena Manipur Unit M. Tombi affirmed that the party will stand against any threat to save the territorial integrity of state similar to the egg of Marathis that saved Maharashtra. He was speaking to the media person at a press conference held at a party office at Babupara. Aim Tombi further said, it is a good measure of the government to launch go-to-hills and go-to-village schemes which is being appreciated by the party. Regarding the implementation of 7 pay, it should be applied to employees who work sincerely and should sort out those who are not sincere in their service. The party will welcome welfare measure for Naga community at the ongoing peace talk between Centre and NSNIM, but will not accept anything that will affect the state's territorial integrity. It may be recalled that the Marathi stood courageously to save the integrity of Maharashtra. Similarly, Sif Sena Manipur will stand for Manipur, he aided. <laughs> Masih Shiv Sena Iwasak ni community amak khangal laga state government lain lain state government ni madu tu ki tuan ba administration nama thangun ni hamisya masih Shiv Sena ni ya bunga moy masih ki mayok tu Shiv Sena na tuan tuan ba manipuran ni bus civil organisation singa khusam naga masih ki mayok tu koi sab sana teh naga ni President of Zelengrong Baudi Assam Manipur Nagaland. A. Abonme has asserted that Zelengrong community cannot be separated and will remain as a single community. Leaders of Zelengrong Youth Front and all the Zelengrong Students Union attended a press conference held at Mahabali Kabuikul Community Hall. He further said Zelengrong community has been residing as one in Manipur, Assam and Nagaland since time immemorial. A parliament of NSN IM has informed to recognize the three apex bodies of Naga community as Jeme, Liang Mai and Rong Mai. However, the Lengrong Baudi along with Apex bodies has decided not to accept the decision of the organization. The Lengrong should not be victimized while a final solution of Naga political issue is brought. The resolution adopted on June 10, 2011 in the presence of the then chairman of NSN IM, Isaac Tzizisu, must be respected. The Zelengrong body is also resolved to uphold the decision of the consultative meeting held on August 25, 2015 that the desire of Zelengrong must be sidelined in the final solutions of Naga political issue. Zelengrong organization strongly rejected the idea of segregations of Zelengrong into Zeme, Dengmai and Rongmai. Zelengrong has to separate the people who are going to separate the Quarabban Bazaar New Market Non License Holders Association celebrated its eighth Foundation Day at Lumfeld Supermarket. Mayor of IMC L. Lokeshor, President of Quarabban Bazaar, New Market Non-Licensed Holders Association, Mutum Ibemhal, and President of UCM, Sunil Karam, attended the program. Mutum Ibemhal expressed unhappiness over the ache of the government for consoling the non-licensed non holders since 2011 to construct a marketplace and making them shift at Lumfield Supermarket, which has not been translated into action till today. She cautions of launching intense forms of agitation if the government does not look into the matter at the earliest. The agitation launched by Amtuk and Amgeo demanding implementation of 7th pay and various charter of demands for government employees has completed 42 days. As part of the agitation, protest demonstration was staged at Office of District Cooperative Officer. A protester expressed unhappiness over non-implementations of 7th pay, whereas it has been implemented in different states across the country. 
Full cooperation will be extended to the agitation launched by Amtuk and Amjo until the demands are fulfilled. Drivers and conductors of Manipur State Transport under the AGs of MST Drivers and Conductors Association stopped plying passenger vehicles on Imphal Moray Road and stage sit in protests at the gate of transport department against arrest of driver Rabi and conductor Robert of MST bus in which drugs were found transporting. Assistant Secretary of the Association Ngangom Prem said Technopol police on April 26 intercepted intoxicants in MST bus coming from Moray to Imphal. However, instead of finding the owner of the consignment, arrest of the driver and the conductor by police is unacceptable and condemnable. He urged authority concerned to release them without any condition. Members of Tinsin Road employed youth auto rickshaw owners and drivers welfare association staged sit-in protest at Kewa Bazaar against the decision of traffic regulations and parking committee of Manipur government to prohibit diesel autos, magic and wingers in Imphal city from May 1. General Secretary of the association Laurak Pumt Sashikanta said concessions and air and noise pollutions in Imphal city can be curbed if all vehicles are stopped from plying, prohibiting diesel autos Magic and Winger cannot tackle the issue. He also added that the decision of the government is not revoked. The association will undergo fast unto that protest. Galicia, a quick issue. Not the motor vehicle department. Na, why na pick permitting je yam sahe. Aduga sahe matung da a quick na into matung da ju high up posya. A quick ni ko set tong na mo official a quick high up level. But si dum ay pupi bungam jagani si na ba. Aye issue. Na ju dum yau dum not the. Residents of Hatta Golapati State sit in protest demanding restorations of water supply that has been stopped following removal of water pipes due to river dredging if Imphal River before the fasting month of Muslims. General Secretary of United Golapati Hatta Development Council Haji Arafat Ali said residents of Hatta Golapati have been reeling without water supply for nearly three months now as the authority has removed water pipes as a work for river dredging began. He urged authority concerned to restore water supply in the area before the holy month begins. Resource <laughs> Wellhox India Private Limited Company is all set to produce goods made up of sugarcane and maize instead of plastic in Manipur. Addressing a press meet held at Hotel Nirmala, chairman of the company, El Basanta said the venture is to be taken up in collaboration with two Korean companies, Grenix Company Limited and Tayong Green Tech Limited and Chandigarh Best Trekmark International. OC of Taubal Police H. Risikes and staff jointly felicitate cyclist Ingobi of Kongjom Sapamayai Lekai and N. Tompok of Yumnam Patlo. It is worth mentioning that Ingobi went on an expedition to Delhi carrying the message Beti Bachao, Beti Parao, and N. Tompok went on a food expedition around Manipur carrying the message Stop Crime Against Women. Secretary of Indian Women Against Crime Robita also attended the felicitation program. N. Tompok said, Crime against women can be stopped only when there is an area-based law that controls certain activities in the area. A workshop for farmers on doubling their income was held at Top Dushra Ima Ningon Mairembi Community Hall. The workshop was organized by District Agriculture Officer Imphal is in association with Project Director Atma. Pradant Mayang Lambam Surbala, DAO Imphal East and Sarat Deputy Secretary of Ministry of Food and Public Distribution, KK Guite, and many others attended the workshop. BTM Ketrigao Sinam Koro Hanbaset. The workshop has been organized for the betterment of the farmers. MLA of Thanga Assembly Constituency and also Chairman of PDA, T. Robindro, launched Go to Village mission yesterday at Thingwingam Grand Panchayat under the guidance of District Administration at Thanga Lawai Community Hall. 
video of Vishnupur, Manikanta Singh, Pradhan Ramananda and Upa Adaksya, M. Dinesh Vedaman Gays at a program. Staff and officials of different government departments distributed benefits to the beneficiaries. Go to Village Missions was launched at Langathel Community Hall for Wangjing, Tentha Constituency, Leisangthem Bazaar for Thobal Constituency, Sangai Yumpam Part 1, Pulei Pokpi for Kangabo Constituency, Wangkem Bazaar for Wangkem Constituency, and Ngalo Lokol Bazaar for Lilong Constituency in Thobal District. MLA P. Brojain, D.C. Thobal, H. Rosita, former Vice President of BJP, T.H. Jadumani, former candidate of Wangkem, A.C. O. Haridas, S.P. Thobal, Gotam, Principal Secretary of Public Relation, P. Vaifai, President of BJP, Thobal District, L. Dibain, attended the launching of the mission at different places in Thobal District. Go to Village Missions was launched at the Community Hall of Kamnam Lerak for Lamjau Tonba Gram Panchayat at Patsoi Assembly Constituency. The program was organized by District Administration in Fal West. Pradhan of La Lamjau Tongba Gram Panchayat, Ilangbam Susila, among many others, attended the program. Manipur and Meite Pangal, Past and Present, a book written by M. M. Saik and published by Writers Union Manipur, was released at the training hold of Agriculture Department, Sanjain Thong. Former Commissioner, Dr. R. K. Nimai Singh, President of Writers Union Manipur, Azrul and Director of DU Center for Kosal, Dr. Rahil Judin Saik, attended the book release function. Manipur team which comprise of 32 players have left Imphal today to participate in the 4th Sub-Junior and Junior National Penket Silat Championship in Guwahati. 29 boys and girls, coach, manager and officials all together 32 persons were flagged off today. Penket Silat Associations of Manipur wish the team to achieve success in the championship. Secretary L. Ranjit assures that the team will achieve success in the championship. Once again, let's hear the news headlines. <music> governor of Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi, sworn in as new governor of Manipur as Governor Najma Haptula goes on leave. <music> Women's wing and student wings of JCILPS destroy fruit market shade at Thangal Market. Dental doctors sit idle due to lack of proper equipment. Two dead and three injured in an accident occurred near Lilong oil pump this afternoon. That's all we got with ICB English News Bulletin. Thank you for joining us.